Good evening and welcome to our program. On April 8th, the Board of Governors of the Ukrainian Interim Government, under President Alexander Tuchanov, intensified the criminal law concerning separatism and other offenses against the state. This came as a response to the continuing unrest in eastern Ukraine. This law prohibits the activities of political parties and public organizations which represent the separatist position and work for a so-called aggressor country, according to Tuchanov. For a better understanding of this, separatist movements in eastern Ukraine, similar to the Crimean population, are demanding referendums so they can be separated from Ukraine. The newly initiated laws of the illegitimate interim government in Kiev set a prison term of from 12 to 15 years for the following offenses. Violation of the sovereignty and territorial unity of Ukraine, treason, defecting to an enemy state while the own country is in a state of war, underground activities which support another country. What are seen as severe cases may even receive lifelong imprisonment. But what exactly classifies as treason and what exactly is defined as underground activity by the ruling authorities? What is it that violates the sovereignty of Ukraine in their eyes? All this leaves very much room for diverse interpretation, and the people of Ukraine who think differently have to fear the worst. One thing is clear, though. The current government of Ukraine considers Russia a so-called aggressor country. But it's important to consider that the unlawful overthrow of the government under Yanukovych, which occurred under massive influence by the USA and the European Union, is the source for the unrest, first in Crimea and now in southeastern Ukraine. Aren't the aggressors, the USA and AEU, who organized the coup responsible for breaking the territorial unity of Ukraine and their Ukrainian political helpers like Alexander Tuchenev, and Arseniy Yatsenyuk, through increasing the punishment for the so-called crimes against national security, Ukraine has established a tremendously threatening posture with a machinery of reprisals. Alexander Lukashevich, the speaker for the Russian Ministry of Foreign Affairs, also said so on Thursday in Moscow. Without wanting to listen to their own people, without taking into consideration what their people feel and think, and without trying to analyze the true source of the conflicts in the eastern regions of the country, the Ukrainian parliamentarians could not think of anything better than to intimidate their own population through a flywheel of repressing laws against all who think differently. Moscow expects Kiev to realize that repressions and police methods won't be suitable means to solve the problems the country is facing. And setting up a dictatorship in order to escape from the crisis will hardly help, the Russian diplomat emphasized. Thank you for helping us to quickly spread this important news, and goodbye until next time.